Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I jumped right into this thing, looking to fix it for the customer, and uh, didn't even think to make a video for you guys. But uh, this is probably the smallest, and uh, quite possibly the newest thing I've ever had in the shop. But this is a Baja scooter, SC50, as seen there on the side. And uh, yeah, came up on a truck, thanks to my father. This is the my neighbor's, his neighbor's vehicle. Uh, yeah, like I said, probably the smallest thing that's ever been in the shop. And I'll have to look at the year, but it's uh, not even pushing 50 cc's. Uh, the manual, I have the original manual, and uh, we'll have to look at that later. But I uh, brought it in. It does have electric start. It also has a kick start. And uh, it was completely dead. So it's been sitting up for a couple years. And uh, took the battery out. Threw it on the smart charger. Let's see here. Threw it on the battery tender smart charger. And it would not take a charge. And uh, it just sits there with the red light blinking. If you've ever uh, used one of those. And that means it's not charging. But uh Get you a good look at this little battery here. Everything's small on this thing, but it doesn't need much power, I guess. I would assume it has some sort of alternator, but I don't know how this is all set up. This is my first scooter, but you're looking at a 4L. All those letters ahead of it, but 4L. Uh, so, I think the smallest battery I ever had was a 8 or a 10. I think probably an 8 or a 10, so. Tiny little battery. I don't know. Is this a... Uh, this is like a Power Wheels battery. I don't think they're much different. I would assume Power Wheels are probably about a 4. But it is a 12 volt, so you can charge it with your normal uh, car chargers. What I had to do, and I've done this on a couple batteries, and hopefully this works for this one. Or I'll have to get a new one. But I uh, threw it on uh, 2 amp draw on the heavy duty charger. And just left it on there for... I don't know, a day and a half, two days, and it never actually showed full charge. But what I was able to do, when I, when I came back to it, it was really hot to the touch. So I immediately took it off. Um, what you're doing is reinvigorating uh, the acid inside and trying to burn off the plates in there of any uh, junk that's not letting them charge. And uh, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but it has worked for me in the past. And, uh, yeah, like this gauge will show you how much charge it's taking and it never actually got full. There's a green light that'll light up. Never actually got there, but I was able to put it back on the uh, battery tender. I let it cool down for a day, put it back in the battery tender. And this time it was taking a charge. It actually got to full charge. It says it's good. So I'm going to throw it in and uh, I don't know what this thing does when it, when you turn the key, but before I had nothing. So I'm gonna throw it back in here. If you're wondering where the battery is on uh, a Baja SC50 scooter, it's down here under, there's a cover and that's screwed down and it sits down in here. Look at these wires, they're teeny tiny. Teeny tiny so you know it doesn't take much current. But uh, that's a fuse in there. I guess that's your main fuse. If that blows, I guess that would go to the starter. I don't know, I'll have to investigate this thing. This is uh, new to me. But yeah, um, there is a, a mat that just sticks into the bottom. So you basically just pull that up. And uh, then there's the cover, which is right here. You can hardly see it, but I laid it over there. That has three or four screws. And then you can open it up for your battery compartment. And then uh, we might have to get into, under the seat there's a cover too. That gets you to your carburetor. Oh, the main reason this is here is uh, it was dropped and uh, the accelerator, the throttle cable got broken off. So I'm gonna figure out what I need for that, order one of those up, and uh, that'll run. I'm gonna probably have to pull this apart. That'll have to run down here to the carburetor. So I'm assuming, you know, there's no other way for it to go. So it runs underneath, I guess. So I don't know if that's a full cable from here to the carburetor or if it's just from the throttle up here but yeah we'll figure that out so anyway I'm gonna put this battery back in and uh, bring it back see if we have any power 
Okay, let's uh, this is my first time sitting on this scooter. Seems like it could be good for a short guy like me. Uh, okay, battery is installed. I left it all open in case we need to do anything to it. And uh, the key's down here. So let's turn it on, see what happens. All right, we have lights on the dashboard and our gas gauge is going up. So that's good, except for the gas is probably really, really old. Uh, cool, so we have that much. What do we got here? This is turn signals. Hey, it tells you your turn signals on. We do a front and rear. Cool, man. You're not gonna leave those on. Front and rear. Good to go. Okay. Let's see, what do we got up here? Is that your headlight down there? No, that's a driving light, I guess. Headlight is right here. That's probably not gonna turn on until you start the bike. Um, I guess there was no windshield. This is kind of popped out, so we'll probably have to, might have to remove that to get the throttle. All right, guys, well, I got enough battery power out of this sucker to get the thing cranking. You do have to hold the left handlebar lever, which I'm assuming is the rear brake, because I know this has front and rear brakes activated by the front levers. So if it's a motorcycle type thing, this will be your front brake, so I'm assuming this is still your front brake. That might be a rear brake, but you have to pull that in in order to crank the bike. And uh, I'm getting crank here, but I'm not firing. So I think the next thing I have to do, I opened the gas tank and looked inside and it is, it does not look like gas. It's really gross. So uh, I even tried starting fluid. I took off the air filter here and sprayed starting fluid into the intake. She won't even fire like that. So uh, I think the carb needs to come out which uh, is right here. So if I undo a couple things here, I can probably lift the carburetor right out here. Um, didn't wanna do that, but we're probably gonna have to anyway. Maybe a quick clean on the carburetor and she might be good to go. I'm gonna have to empty the gas tank because that looks really brownish grossness in there. It doesn't look terribly dirty but um, might need a good clean out, at least a drain. We'll see. But uh, I don't want to run bad gas through the newly clean carburetor. But I do want this thing to fire. Like it'll crank and crank and crank, but doesn't even try to try to fire. First thing I'll do before I take out the carburetor is probably pull the spark plug, see if that needs anything. If the spark plug looks good, I'm thinking it's over here. I think it comes in right here. So if that's it, I'll see if I can get in underneath here and pull the spark plug off. Look at that. If that needs clean, maybe I can put it back in and get it to fire, but we'll see in a second. All right, guys, ripping into the carburetor. Can't really be done unless you take it out. You can't even see in here. So I would normally drain the float bowl which is in there of the old gas but look we're sitting right on top of the engine so it's going to go everywhere i see on the other side i do have the line coming down from the gas tank and that has a fuel filter and that's good but we have to drain all this crap out so i guess i'll just pull the filter i'm trying to figure out how to get these siding pieces off and if you've ever taken apart a washing machine or a dishwasher just like taking apart a Chinese scooter. A bunch of little sheet metal screws basically holding all this plastic pieces together and they're just screwed into other plastic pieces so there's really no metal involved. So everything could break so easily. Just so you know, Chinese scooters are put together quick and cheap. I'm not saying they're not fun. I'm not saying they're not awesome. But just a warning, don't drop them and break them because this one actually didn't take too much damage, but uh, it was dropped, but everything's still working on it. It's got some scratches, but that's just character. So anyway, I'm gonna work on getting the carburetor out. 
and uh, draining the fuel. We'll go from there. Yippee! Because, yeah, I bet if I drained out the bowl, threw some starting fluid in there, I could put some fresh gas to it and get it to fire, but going to have to clean it out anyway, so let's go that route. Oh man, guys, I'm jumping ahead of myself here thinking you know all this. If you ever need to get the carburetor out of here, there's two 10 millimeter bolts here you need to, well, this is going to be the easiest way. Basically, you want to undo this collar because that's going to undo it from the intake from this tube here. So this would be the, this is carburetor here, then this goes into the engine. So you want to undo this, but there's also one on this side. But if, I found it easier to uh, undo these two 10 millimeter bolts and that's going to lift up because you need to get the carburetor out from between this and this tube. So you can just lift up on that, loosen up this guy. So you're going to lift up on that and then that's going to help you to shimmy this out. But then there's this sucker here. So, you know, the easiest thing would be to take this giant thing off here. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Looks like a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. I might try that too. I don't know what this is, but it's in the way. I think if I get this up and off, I can lift this forward. So there's this on one side, that on the other side, just like this. So I'm gonna get this off and lift it forward. You're also gonna have to remove your throttle cable, which I have to replace anyway, because it's torn on the other end. And those are a 13 millimeter nut. So you're gonna have to turn those can't get my hand in there but then uh, this has to come off so that you can shimmy the just the wire itself out there it's open on this side but it's too small for the uh, actual cable to get out so or ex the actual housing so you have to get this off so you can shimmy this back to pull the little cable out and then you have to remove the fuel line which I'm working on and these are super super hard to remove I think this might need new fuel lines when I put it back together, but we'll see when I get there. Um, I wanted to drain the gas out before I remove this, but getting my hands in there is not proving to be a simple job. So let's see if I can lift this out the way it is so I can get to the fuel line on the carburetor. And uh, if that doesn't work, we're going to take the whole thing apart. There we go. I told you we'd get to the bottom of this. Here. So, uh, a screw there. There's four bolts, 10 millimeter bolts that I showed you. Well, there's two nuts up here. Nuts here, bolts down there, all 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. There's a screw here and a screw holding a little, uh, little hook on the front. That might not have had to come off, but it seemed like it did. But definitely this one. And probably not this one because I dropped a part down there. I'm gonna have to find it. Did it make it to the ground? I don't see it. I'll have to look for it. So uh, whatever it was screwed into on the inside is missing. But I'll find it before I put it back together. And uh, yeah, so now we have, as I was showing you here, here's the intake tube. This is loose so I can pull that off. And then this is loose so I can pull that off. Now. I could still take this off. So now I can lift this up. No problem. Right there. So you can see right down into your engine. That should be your combustion chamber. Boy, I, what is that? A valve? Hmm. That looks interesting. I'll have to stare at that for a little while. But anyway, yeah, your piston should go this way. I'm thinking. This should be the top of your engine. I'm thinking. And yeah, <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you too much about it. I didn't really look at this thing yet, but I still think that's our spark plug down there. Now I can actually get to it. Is it? Is that? Yeah, that feels like a spark plug boot. Urgh. Okay. Spark plug boot is off. That didn't seem all that secure on there. I wonder if that was even sitting on correctly. That could have been a reason why I wasn't starting because it wasn't getting spark. Hmm. Well, that easily could be a reason. Well, it's all torn apart now.